So ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to go to California. I don't even know why. I just thought California was a cool place. Then I got into Tupac's music to live and die in LA, although I don't want to die there or live there, but I do want to visit. It just, it seems like it'd be a nice place to go to and just kind of check out, travel around a little bit. I know some of the homies are out there, Gracie, Jalen, shout out to anybody else that's out there. I feel like I'm probably missing another person or two. And you know, if I do go there, apparently you guys got to keep me safe because like this video says, California's armed robbery problem is out of control. I don't want to be a victim. I'm just trying to go and, and enjoy some sun and some beautiful women. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that, but I, I don't want nothing like this to happen. So let's dive in and let's see what goes down. This first video looks like the postal carrier gets robbed at gunpoint. They robbing the mailman. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's crazy out there, apparently. Surveillance video shows the female postal carrier putting items into a mailbox in front of a home in Dublin Monday afternoon around 4.30, when suddenly a masked man followed by a second person comes up from behind her. <laughs> the postal worker who asked not to be identified describes being robbed at gunpoint. It's 4.30 p.m. It's the middle of the day, sun shining beautiful weather, all this kind of stuff. Like, what is it with you guys over there in Cali? Like, y'all got the best weather out of probably everybody. The entire country. The best weather is probably in California. And for some reason, it makes you guys violent. Somebody came behind me and boom, just hit me and put a gun to the back of my head. And he said, give me your keys. You don't want to die, do you? I go, no, no, no. The carrier went to the mail truck to get her phone and handed it to the armed robber while fearing the worst. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. But the two men ran away after taking the keys to mailboxes and the truck along with her cell phone. A man walks into a Colton I feel like taking the cell phone is a stupid move because she could track it. I mean, yeah, you could turn it off, but at some point you're gonna turn it on, right? Because you wanna sell it or you wanna try to wipe it, but then you gotta get through the passcode. It almost seems pointless, unless there's some method to get through it that I'm not familiar with. Business mumble. What? Then walks behind. He said, I need my money. I need it more than you do. Yo, <laughs> what? The counter and starts taking merchandise. What are you doing? But the shop owner's brother tries to stop him, eventually wrestling the man to the ground. Yeah, we're not going to let you rob us, dude. He was the one that went straight up WWE status where he suplexed the guy. Uh, well, hey, hey, hey. My brother is being is, is laying face down on the grounds with the real possibility of him getting shot. And I knew if I looked at him too much, I, mean, I don't want to give him a reason to shoot me. I, I couldn't do anything. Give me your phone. The man held them at gunpoint and demanded Alexander's phone before he left. With cash and Pokemon collectible cards, the store estimates to be worth a few thousand dollars. I understand trying to fight the person off and, and, you know, stop them from robbing your store, but that's a dangerous move because you never know if they got a gun, a knife, what they're willing to do. There's a lot of times where armed robbery turns into murder. And that's why a lot of times when you work at like corporate stores or in a mall or something like that, they have rules in place that tell you like, listen, if someone steals something, do not follow them, do not chase them, just report it, call security, call the police, get everybody else involved and just kind of let that shit go because you don't want to be a victim. You don't want to, to have something happen to you. I also feel like the stores probably don't want to be liable for something potentially happening. I don't know how that would work. It, it's, it's it, I feel like that's a part of it though. Liability, but also the safety of the people that are working there. Now, when it's your own store, like a mom and pop style store that you own and there's no corporation behind it, I get it. You don't want to lose all of your, your money, all of your, your merchandise. So you're, you're more inclined to want to fight back, but if you ain't got a gun and you ain't prepared to pull it out and shoot that man, you better just leave that man alone and let him do his thing. And what makes matters worse is this is the third incident they've had in their seven months of doing business here. Damn, three times in seven months? Video shows a group of six thieves, including one with a gun, rush into Fong Jewelry Store in Chinatown and violently smash cases with hammers. Oh, see, they're going into Chinatown now. Now they now they crossing a line. Like, you going and messing with my women out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't mind now. I ain't, I'm not about this. But it's crazy that just the middle of the day, they just roll up, masked up, run right inside. Boom, boom. They're ready to go. Smash everything. Grab as much as they possibly can and leave. Y'all are different in Cali. Grabbing everything they can. Many people getting here. Then we don't know what I do. 
I'm feel scared, even right now. As owner Diane Trin ducks for cover, she yells for her husband, who comes out with a gun. It was enough to scare the robbers back out the door, but not before stealing the store's most expensive inventory. Imagine if that man just came out, just ba 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 ba. I don't know why that was the sound that I decided to go with, but it was. But that, yo, that, that would have been wild. He knew exactly what they wanted, and they went after the main core items that is pretty much 85 to 90 percent of the value of our entire inventory. Law enforcement has accidentally interrupted an armed robbery in progress at a local 7-Eleven. Police say the suspect walked into the 7-Eleven, flashed a gun, and demanded cash. Now, as the clerk was putting money into the bag, a sergeant with the West Covina Police Department suddenly walked in as a customer. He quickly realized what was happening here, so he pulled his gun out and chased that suspect as the man ran outside. That it's sergeant caught the armed suspect, and tonight we're told that felon is facing multiple felony charges. And earlier this week, we told you about the LA County Sheriff's deputy who walked in on this armed robbery at a 7-Eleven in Carson. This was on Saturday. He pulled his gun, radioed for help, and kept watching his back to make sure a getaway driver was not outside. Well, finally, other deputies arrived and all four suspects were arrested. LAPD releasing this video showing one of two armed robberies in the city's Olympic area. The video shows the suspect robbing the victims at gunpoint, removing items, then taking off. Urban police say a group of young teens walked into the bathroom there, and those two that you see here in this video now running out went in behind them, one of them armed with a gun, and took the shoes right off their feet. You see them walking <laughs> through the parking garage here now with three pairs of shoes. There's a picture of the gun as they walked into the bathroom. Now, luckily, uh, nobody was hurt. There were four young teens that were in that bathroom. One of them was able to get away before they had their shoes taken off of them. These are dangerous crimes. Burbank Police Lieutenant Derek Green is referring to a spate of robberies that have plagued Southern California and most other major metropolitan areas in recent months called bank jugging. This crime is when a usually a group of people follow unsuspecting victims to a bank and wait for them to withdraw a large amount of cash. And then what they do is once that victim leaves the bank, they follow them to their intended destination. The name may sound new, but this type of organized robbery is not. You usually have somebody driving a vehicle. Oftentimes you have somebody that's actually inside the bank posing as a customer themselves. A customer walks out of a Wells Fargo on Ventura Boulevard with a bag containing $10,000 cash. How do they know that somebody is taking out a large amount of money? It made it sound like they find a random person on the street and follow them until they go to a bank. But it's like, how would you know they're going to a bank? So it's more likely that they're just at the bank itself. That's that makes a lot more sense. So they have one person in the bank who's waiting to see if anybody there takes out a large sum of money. And obviously they can't stay there forever. So they might cycle out a few of them just to see. And, and the rest of them watch like the ATM to see if somebody takes a lot of money out. And then from there, they try to follow them to get that money. He didn't know that 20 minutes after entering the bank, a gunman and a getaway driver had pulled into the parking lot and waited. Once outside with the bag in hand, one of the suspects confronts the victim at gunpoint. The victim throws the bag of money before the gunman scoops it up and takes off. See, this shit, mm -mm. Gracie, Jay Lynn, I'm going to need y'all to keep me safe if I come to Cali. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where to go, what to do. I'm nervous. Y'all are going to try to get me out there. I ain't about that life. I ain't about that life. Listen, things happen in New York too. Don't get me wrong, but it ain't, I don't feel like it's like this. I think Cali just built different. Y'all are just built different. It's like too much sun then got to y'all head and you guys be doing some madness out there. So you got to be careful. But at some point, I would like to visit Cali. I've, I've always wanted to. At one point when I was younger, my whole game plan was I'm going to move to Cali. I'm happy in New York. I don't know that I'd move. Like, I like being around family and stuff like that. And so I'll probably stay here. But I feel like I want to visit places, though. I want to travel a little bit, get around, you know, save up some money to make some of that stuff happen. But only once I got my protection in place. You know what I'm saying? I need my protection in place first. <laughs> and then we could we could talk about some things. But anyways, this was uh, an interesting video. Very interesting video. I, I, I've seen some crazy stuff out in Cali. Like, people waiting in line with like a whole lot of traffic and dudes just going from car to car because the cars can't go anywhere because it's all backed up and they just rob people from car to car. I've seen them smash out back windows and grab shit. I've seen them force people to open up their trunk, take people's wallets and shit because they're, they're stuck sitting there in their car and they could just walk down the street with their gun and go from each person to each person. And there's not really anything you could do. Like, what are you going to get out and run and leave your car there? And they probably try to take your car. Like, uh, it, it's just, 
seems like some madness is happening. Now, obviously, this isn't all the time everywhere. I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't experience this. But when you see it like this so consecutively, it makes you think that this is all that happens over there. It's kind of crazy. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're from Cali, your experiences, all that kind of stuff. I appreciate you. I'll catch you in the next one, homies.